Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you are tuning in today to cap off our week with some time in God's Word. Uh, we're about to launch into Advent. Not yet, not yet, but we're getting ready. So, go juices ago. Um, this Sunday is the last Sunday in the church here coming up, and it is uh, also known as Christ the King Sunday. Uh, so there's a couple different themes. As you've noticed, kind of towards the end of the church year, things get uh, dark. Um, and the last Sunday of the church year kind of caps things off. So we're going to spend time talking about Christ as our King, which is a challenging concept. Um, but after worship, we'll then decorate our sanctuary for for Christmas. It is just, I, I just can't believe it. Um, that it's that Advent is upon us, um, but we'll also have the kiddos uh, practicing for the Charisma on service at the same time. Um, but before we get to all of that, let's spend some time in God's Word this morning. We make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Pull out your YouVersion Bible app. Our verse of the day comes to us from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow do to change. Now this, there are some commentators who believe that James is quoting other places of scripture, um, but it's not necessarily cited as a quotation here. Um, the, this echoes of how we just uh, began our devotional time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, uh, we praise God's name. We speak of the Father of lights and, and how these perfect gifts are from above and God has created these things. It's a beautiful echo of the fact that God provides everything that we need. Um, in, in verse 5, James mentions wisdom is, is included in this. Um, in verse 18, right after this verse, he mentions that, that new life is one of the things that God provides to us. And then you have this reference to the Father of Lights. It's kind of a an odd turn of phrase, right? We, we don't usually refer to God in this way um, as Father of Lights. Uh, it's an interesting thing to say, but it, it is similar to how we speak in the Nicene Creed. God of God, Light of Light, Very God of Very God. Uh, but this is, this is referring to God's creative work in Genesis 1. Uh, that he is the source of light. If you read Revelation speaking of what the new heavens and new earth will be like, it's quite intriguing that there is no longer a sun or stars. The light is just emanating from God, which is kind of mind-boggling and hard to wrap your mind around. But then you have this last part of the phrase that there's no variation or shadow due to change. Um, though... The heavenly bodies, like stars, change and move. God and his word remain consistent. And we can trust his promises. Uh, which, again, is, is another echo of other places in scripture. If you turn to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, the, God says, I, the Lord, do not change. And, and this this final part of Malachi is this Lord the Lord asserting that he will not change. He continues to condemn sin and he continues to show his mercy that endures forever. Uh, we We are children of this promise then uh, that we have these good gifts and God, because he doesn't change, continues to give the good gifts. Uh, which we continue to receive when we come into his house for worship. Um, and I, I pray that that is exactly what we 
have this Sunday, that we have this wonderful time together in his word where we know he's doing what he always does. He doesn't vary or change the amount of grace he doles out. It's consistent. Uh, I, I love the language here. It's, it's a comfort. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and this, is, uh, this is what norms our worship then. Is that our God, unchanging, is the focal point, the source of it all. And it's, I like the phrase, the phrasing here. It's, it's a crescendo. Every good gift. Nah, that doesn't say it strong enough. Every perfect gift is from above. But the good stuff is from him too. Like you can't downplay the littles. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, giver of all good and perfect gifts, help our worship to be filled with songs of praise like this to learn from Scripture of your unchanging activity amongst us, and that as we gather to receive your gifts, we would praise your name in your house and everywhere that we go. We pray this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you this weekend. We'll be live right here. We'll be live in person for uh, the last Sunday of the church here as we worship Christ our King. Have a blessed day in the Lord. See you soon.